Mounts Bay, Cornwall, the Western Union Combined Fleet makes ready for the opening stage of manoeuvres between the English Channel and the Bay of Biscay. Ships of the Royal Navy included the battleship Anson, the fleet carriers Implacable and Victorious, and the light fleet carrier Theseus. Heavy forces of escorting destroyers accompanied the larger units, now shaping course for their next rendezvous of Exercise Verity. <laughs> The Royal Netherlands Navy played a prominent part in exercises designed above all to perfect communication. Other film records were made on board a French warship as the curtain rose upon this first big test of combined manoeuvre. Aboard the British flagship Implacable, Commander Hendrickson of the Norwegian Navy was an interested observer. His host, the Commander-in-Chief, Admiral McGregor, made full use of the latest type of fleet air transport when he travelled by helicopter to the carrier Theseus. Meanwhile, Field Marshal Montgomery, aboard Implacable, was paying a visit to the engine room. But though one may learn a lot, companionways still hold traps for the unwary. Time and again, the combined fleet was engaged in repelling attacks by carrier-borne aircraft. Top speed was the order of the day, as the flight deck crews got their planes ready for each new assault. Sea Hornets, Firebrands and Sea Furies all are ready as the carrier striking force goes out to harry the distant fleet. are out over the target where the cruiser formation representing a merchant convoy whose escorts provide a formidable defense. Over now to the Cornish coast from which a force of fireflies later went out to attack the convoy now heading back into the channel. This was one of the most important of the four-day exercises and every pilot was keyed up to test the Navy's defense to the utmost. Soon it's feet below and the brief order attack. Attackers and defenders had suffered mock casualties before the carrier-based aircraft returned to their parent ship. Again, a vivid example of the greatly improved landing technique perfected during the war years. Every few seconds, another perfect touchdown, each one controlled by the batsman with unerring precision. British, French and Dutch pilots lost no time in comparing notes on their part in the operations, now drawing to a close as the last flights returned in the gathering dusk. Many vital lessons have been learned by each of four navies, but most important of all has been the proof that they can and will work together for the greater strength and effectiveness of Western Union. Mm -hmm.